One blogger is correcting Yellowface by transforming into whitewashed Asian movie characters. Michelle Vilmer is tired of Hollywood's whitewashing of Asian roles, or yellowfacing as she calls it. The problem inspired the Asian American actress and blogger to start her Correcting Yellowface project on her DIY blog, Homemade Mimi. In the project, Vilmer photographs herself dressed as Asian movie characters who were portrayed by white actresses. From Katherine Hepburn's role in the 1944 Dragon Seed, to Emma Stone's controversial portrayal of a one-quarter Chinese and one-quarter Hawaiian woman in 2015's Aloha. Vilmer is giving the internet a lesson on Hollywood's knack for whitewashing Asian roles, a history that has been widely ignored and overlooked. It was interesting because I saw all of these people in uproar on Twitter about hashtag Oscars so white, Vilmer told Pop Sugar. I was like, but wait a minute, you guys. This has been going on for so long. The mother of two told Pop Sugar about the first time she saw a whitewashed Asian character. Vilmer, who had just finished reading The Good Earth, a novel about a Chinese farmer and his strong wife for a high school class, couldn't wait to see the 1933 film adaption. What she didn't expect was to see a white actress, Louise Rayner, portraying the lead female character, Olan. I remembered back then having a strange feeling that there was a white woman playing an Asian role, Vilmer told Pop Sugar. Years later, Olan was the first character Vilmer corrected in her project. Vilmer launched the Correcting Yellowface project in June 2016, where it received a huge wave of support from people all over the world. Vilmer is also inspired by her first-hand knowledge of Hollywood stereotyping of Asian characters from years of auditioning as an actress. She told Pop Sugar about the numerous times she was asked to audition for roles like Dragon Lady, Slave Woman, or Hooker. There weren't enough opportunities, and the opportunities that were there were horrible. Vilmer does have hope for the future, but until then, she'll gladly dress up as Scarlett Johansson's Japanese character in the upcoming Ghost in the Shell to make her point. Cher, if Hollywood needs to stop whitewashing Asian characters, 